every day, late at night, not okay, all I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. Hey you, it's Kyla Lu, and today I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create those quick cut TikToks, also known as the Anna edits. Anna Sitar, I really hope I'm saying her last name right. Hi y'all, I'm Anna Sitar, otherwise known as Anna X, was one of the creators who pioneered this style of content. And actually, I went and created an entire video breaking down Anna's strategy and how she's able to create such successful videos. So if you're a small creator who wants to grow on TikTok, I would highly recommend checking out that video. But if you're interested in learning how to create this really fast paced style of content, then just keep watching. Before we get started, I'm going to let you guys know right now that the timer that you can use in TikTok is going to be your best friend when creating this type of content. So whether you're using the three second timer or the 10 second timer, it doesn't really matter depending on how much time you need to get set up for your clip. Literally the timer is going to be your best friend. Okay guys, let's get into this. So first I switched to the 60 second video length and this is gonna be really important if you wanna film any videos longer than 15 seconds. And then I hopped onto the timer and you drag that pink bar to where you want it to stop recording. So I chose my first clip, you guys can see really small. And I like to do some sort of movement right at the beginning to catch people's eye. So you can consider that when making your own TikTok videos. Then I'm onto the second clip. Again, I wanted to add some sort of movement started the timer, waited for it to end, and then finished my clip. Now keep in mind, I am previewing all of these clips in between, and then I'll show you guys the final product at the very end. So now I'm on my third clip doing my hair, and again, all of these clips are just gonna be really small, and I'm listening to the audio, figuring out where I want to cut it, and yes, I do get on my bed, jump around. Don't forget to have fun with this. Like, it does take a lot of work, but don't be afraid to just really enjoy the process. And look at that focus. What I would recommend too is changing perspectives. So you can see here that I move back away from the camera and I move closer. So that is also something to keep in mind as you're figuring out how to film these because that is also going to make it more engaging. Now, you can see here, I didn't like the two clips that I just filmed, so I just clicked the delete button and deleted the most recent clip and then went back in and redid it. So you can do that. What's nice is you don't have to delete the whole thing. I can just delete the most recent clip. So if I'm unhappy with it, I can go back and change it. So now again, I'm dragging that pink bar. I'm gonna do a little bit of a fun transition with the blanket and you just wait till you hear the timer stop counting down and then do your transition. But again, you're always going to want to check it by clicking on that check mark to the right and checking your clips. So now I'm going into my next clip with some movement and here I am lip syncing just a little bit and you want to make sure it lines up. I really love adding in the lip syncing because I do feel like it adds another level of engagement and people are much more impressed with that fact. And this is an easy way to do it. And as you guys can see, I'm racking up a lot of little clips. Now, I'm not lip syncing everything in this audio, so I do pick and choose kind of on the fly, but it does make it more impressive. And here I'm checking the clips again to make sure I like where the audio is lined up. Scoot back from the camera with the three seconds. You can't always do the 10 second timer if you need more time to set up, but I typically like the three seconds because the 10 seconds is very long. So now I'm just doing these pillow throws here, adding in really small clips. I try to listen in the music if there's accents, so then I can try and add some movement to those accents as well. Just again, really making it engaging, doing some fun different clips there with throwing the pillow over my shoulder. And then here I add, I try and add in a transition and I wanted to show you guys this because I had a hard time getting this transition and ended up changing it but that's okay. Like if you struggle sometimes with a transition, I had a hard time like timing it when I was putting my hand over the camera to for it to work for the next clip. So then I switched the transition here to crossing my hands in front of my face. And you wanna time that so you're ending the transition when the timer stops recording. And then here I'm switching my location to my bathroom because I'm gonna wash my face and do everything with my sink. And then I'm going to start with the transition with the hands in front of my face and open it up. Now, transitions can be tricky. They are so cool and add so much dynamic to your videos, 
But again, I struggled getting the second part of this transition and I just wanted to show you guys and be real and it like, it's okay if you need to do transitions a couple times. You can see I was, <laughs> I was getting a little frustrated, but you just can't let it, you can't, just can't let it get you down. So then I finally got the transition to work and then on to the next clip. This one I had just a little bit longer and I started to wash my face. So then when the clip started, I was already in the process there and my face was all nice and foamy. And then I finished up my routine, dried my face. And that's what you can do is like do your routine and leave some blocks of time where you're not doing it on camera and then pick certain clips to do on camera. So you don't have to do every single step of your routine if you don't want to. But I liked changing it up here, being a little bit dorky, changing my faces up, changing how close or far away I am from the camera. And you guys can see, if you take a look at that record button, all of my little clips, it's a lot. But TikTok makes it so quick and easy. So now I'm adding in my eye cream and it completely spurted out and I, was, I had a funny facial expression, but I decided to keep it, so it was fun. And then I did some more lip syncing here. Again, lots of little clips. And then I finished up my face routine and did all that. And then I was going to do my chapstick and I got an idea to get closer to the camera and add in my chapstick as my last thing that I do here in the bathroom. And you can see like my bathroom really isn't that what we call like aesthetic, but that's okay. Like this is real life. Not everyone's bathroom is gonna be absolutely beautiful. But then I go and switch locations back to my bedroom, making it more engaging. And what I'm gonna do is have a transition from my robe to the outfit for the day. So I wanted to do like a little turn. So I start the transition, end it backing away from the camera and remember where it is. And then I go change my outfit, get the clip. And then I remember where I'm turning and start the movement. But as I rewatched the clip, I decided I wanted to lip sync as I finished it out. So I redid the clip, turned. Yes, you can see my bra strap, but I don't care. So yeah, that's how I did it. There you guys go. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing because you guys, subscribing helps support me so much. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section, as well as go ahead and drop your TikTok handle in the comment section. That way I can go and check out your profile. Other people can follow you if they want. And it's just a fun way to build up our community. So make sure you do that. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye dudes. Cause I've been living life right like I